a quick video reaction of some aliens. Uh, humans witness detail aliens encounter in Las Vegas. This that don't make sense, but the police took this seriously, and so do we. Just before midnight on April 30th, sky watchers across several western states saw a bright fireball streak through the heavens. A police officer working in the Northwest Valley caught a glimpse of the colorful object on his body cam. At nearly the same time, a ring camera in the area recorded a strange noise and what sounds like a crash. Wow. One family living in a ranch-style home had a much closer view of the object. Two brothers and their father were working on a vehicle in their yard when they caught a glimpse of a sparkly object as it came crashing down, then were hit by what they describe as a shockwave. One of the witnesses, a young man named Angel, has stated when the brothers looked into the yard where the object landed, that spot was obscured and blurry, as if by unknown form of camouflage. What they saw next prompted a frantic call to 911. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like foot. Nine feet, ten foot, I don't know. They look like, they look like aliens to us. Big eyes, they have big eyes. Okay. Like, like, I can't explain it. And big mouth. They're tiny eyes, and, and they're not human. They're 100% they're not human. 8 News Now investigators have spoken. You know, the, this family made a big mistake because now they're going to be tracked by the shadow government. Uh, I'm not surprised. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they're taken, you know, to like a secret location, basically kidnapped. So let's continue. Been with family members multiple times in the past four weeks, but each of the three times we accepted their invitation to do an interview, they didn't answer the door or their phone. These are some of the claims they've made in other public forums. Multiple family members backed up the story in an initial police report we obtained. Angel says they heard the patter of multiple feet in the yard. They later heard footsteps on their roof. They saw one of the eight-foot-tall creatures climb behind the controls of a large front loader stored in the yard as if trying to engage it. He got a good look at one of the creatures, he said, a greenish-grayish being with large eyes and long legs. He says he could hear its deep breaths, and when he locked eyes, he was, in essence, frozen in place, couldn't move. In the middle of the yard, where the object had crashed, then vanished, a circular impression was left in the soil. Okay, where is this on your property? Metro sources say the police oh, dispatcher sure. initially wondered whether to send a crisis intervention team to help the troubled witness, but then took the incident seriously. Two officers arrived 38 minutes after the call, and by then it heard from other officers. They proceeded cautiously and managed some nervous laughs. I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> a few days later, the family says, two Metro sergeants returned to the scene to ask follow-up questions. The family says they also saw men in suits and sunglasses driving in a car with government plates cruising slowly past the house in the follow -up. Okay, those men in suits, that's the shadow government. You know, they had government plates. So, like, uh, you know, these people were probably taken away because, you know, because they witnessed, like, these alien greys or whoever these aliens were, like, and um, and that's the shadow government. Uh, their job is to remove, like, destroy the evidence and uh, kind of follow up. They'll interview people. They'll interview, like, the witnesses. And, and I'm, I wouldn't be, I'm not surprised. I wouldn't be surprised.